Have you ever wondered how the small device that brings you your favorite music, the radio, came into existence? Our story begins in the mid-19th century with a man named James Clerk Maxwell. This brilliant Scottish physicist predicted the existence of electromagnetic waves, the invisible forces that would become the backbone of radio technology. But back then, these waves were purely theoretical, and it would take a few more decades before they were proven to exist. Fast forward to the late 19th century and enter Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist. Hertz demonstrated the existence of these waves, but he saw no practical application for them. He could not have possibly imagined how his discovery would transform the world. Now, let's hop over to Italy, where a young inventor named Guglielmo Marconi was tinkering with these newly discovered waves. Marconi saw the potential in these invisible forces and found a way to send signals across long distances without wires. He was the first to use radio waves for practical communication, a breakthrough that earned him a Nobel Prize. But Marconi wasn't the only one making strides in radio technology. Across the Atlantic, in the United States, a man named Nikola Tesla was also experimenting with radio waves. Tesla made significant contributions to the field including the development of the Tesla coil, a device essential to sending and receiving radio signals. Meanwhile, in Russia, Alexander Popov was conducting similar experiments. Popov is credited with creating an early version of the radio receiver, a crucial component in the radio communication system. As these inventors were laying the groundwork for radio technology, the first commercial radio station, KDKA, was established in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This station began broadcasting in 1920, and its first broadcast was the results of that year's presidential election. And thus, the radio, as we knew it back then, was born. The dawn of radio was a time of remarkable innovation and discovery, a period where scientists and inventors from around the world contributed to the development of a technology that would forever change the way we communicate. With the birth of radio came a new era of entertainment and information, the golden age of radio. From the roaring 20s to the fabulous 50s, radio saw an unprecedented surge in popularity. It was during this time that radio became more than a tool. It became a companion, a source of comfort, and a window to the world. This era saw an explosion of content. Voices crackled through the airwaves, filling homes with a medley of news, music, dramas, and comedy shows. The radio became the heartbeat of the household, indispensable and intimate. From the morning news to the evening lullabies, it accompanied people through their day, bringing the world closer to them. News broadcasts were not just reports. They were the lifeline that connected individuals to the world. They brought updates from the farthest corners of the earth, right into the living rooms. The thrill of hearing about events as they unfolded was a novelty, a luxury that the radio afforded. Music on the radio was not just tunes, it was the rhythm of life. Jazz, blues, rock and roll, the radio played it all. It was a jukebox that never stopped, a concert that was always on. It brought people together, made them dance, and helped them dream. The dramas and comedy shows were not just stories, they were a shared experience. They evoked emotions, sparked conversations, and created memories. They transformed the radio into a theater of the mind, painting vivid pictures with words and sounds. The two world wars also had a profound impact on radio content and popularity. It was a beacon in the dark times, providing news updates, morale-boosting music, and uplifting stories. It was the link that kept the world connected in the face of adversity. The golden age of radio was not just a period, it was a phenomenon. It was the time when radio became an integral part of our lives, shaping cultures and societies. It was a time of innovation and exploration, of discovery and delight. The golden age of radio had set the stage for the next big leap in radio technology. From AM to FM to digital, the radio experienced a transformation, didn't it? As we journeyed through the golden age of radio, a significant shift was on the horizon. The transition from amplitude modulation, or AM radio, to frequency modulation, also known as FM radio, marked a major milestone in radio technology. Why the shift, you ask? Well, FM radio brought with it numerous benefits. The most notable was the substantial improvement in sound quality. FM signals are less prone to interference compared to their AM counterparts, resulting in a clearer, static-free listening experience. This pivotal shift also ushered in the era of stereo sound a game-changer in the radio world. With stereo broadcasting, listeners could now enjoy a more immersive and realistic sound experience. 
much like being at a live concert or in a movie theater. With these impressive advancements, the radio landscape began to evolve, paving the way for the rise of talk radio. No longer just about music or news, radio became a platform for discussion, debate, and storytelling. From politics to sports, from advice columns to comedy shows, radio became the go-to medium for engaging conversation and thought-provoking content. Then came the advent of satellite and internet radio, taking the radio experience to a whole new level. With satellite radio, listeners could tune in to their favorite stations from any corner of the globe, breaking geographical boundaries. Internet radio, on the other hand, took advantage of the World Wide Web, offering a plethora of stations and genres to choose from, accessible from any device connected to the Internet. This transition to digital radio signaled a new era. The radio was no longer a simple box with knobs and dials. It was now a versatile, dynamic platform, integrated into our smartphones, our cars, and even our home assistant devices. The radio had now entered the digital age, ready to keep pace with the rapidly advancing technology. So where does the journey of radio take us from here? It's clear that radio, in its enduring adaptability, will continue to evolve, keeping pace with technological advancements and changing listener habits. The rise of podcasts, for instance, has seen an explosion of on-demand niche content that caters to every interest under the sun. This shift towards personalization is likely to continue, with algorithms curating playlists based on individual preferences. Then there's the role of smart speakers, bringing radio into the heart of our homes with simple voice commands. These devices, along with internet radio, break down geographical barriers, giving us access to stations from around the globe. This global connectivity opens up a world of diversity, broadening our auditory horizons. And let's not forget, the beauty of radio lies in its simplicity, its immediacy, and its ability to create a sense of community. As we tune into our favorite stations, we're not just listening to music or news, we're part of an ongoing evolution, the evolution of radio.